so it all started like when I was little, my parents take us traveling a lot. I mean, we live right by O'Hare, by major airspaces. You know, always looking up in the sky, thinking what a cool career that would be. When I turned 13, my uncle, who like runs our local airport, gave me IntraFlight, which basically it's about an hour. An instructor takes, takes you up, lets you fly. And after that, I was hooked. As soon as I turned 15, I told my parents I want to do this for a career. I planned it all out. And right when I turned 16, I started my flight training, and I'm on track to get my private pilot's license by the time I turned 17. The most memorable flight I've taken so far was definitely my intro flight. That's the first flight I took with an instructor. It took me up for about an hour. It took me over to Chicago Skyline, and just seeing how you know, beautiful it was. And I mean, I was hooked right, right there, and then I was hooked. At that point, it felt like something I could do for a living. This is something, I, if I get paid for, I would absolutely you know, do this my entire life. In order to be a private pilot, you need to have 40 hours total, and about half that needs to be with the instructor. There's obviously very specific directions. Whoever your instructor is will make sure you follow those and make sure you follow them in order. Most pilots who are getting into private get it around 60 to 70 hours. 40 hours is the baseline minimum. So like me, I've been doing mine since September. Uh, I'll probably have around 70 hours by the time I get my license, which is like right where I want to be. So some role models throughout my journey have definitely been my family. You know, so my family has been very supportive and helped me, you know, pay for my whole flight journey. Definitely my cousin. My cousin's a corporate pilot and he took the exact same journey as me. He started when he was 17, he got his private license in about a month. I mean, he was flying every day and knowing that he did it, he helps me out in any way he can. If I text him, I need help with something, he helps me out. And he'll send me a text and I go flying with him every once in a while. He's an instructor as well. So he knows all this stuff. He's only 21 and he's already flying corporate jets. He's at about 1,500 hours. And that's exactly where I wanna be. It's definitely points in getting your license where you know you feel like unmotivated. And ways I find motivation is just talking to other people at the airport, you know, instructors, airline pilots, um, corporate pilots, people like those, and just seeing where you, you might, might be in 10 years. Like seeing one day I'm gonna be an instructor or an airline pilot, it just it boosts my confidence and just makes me you know try harder to get this career done. Cause at the end of the day, that's where I wanna be. And it's an amazing career to get into. Right now is the best time.